Perspective is a drawing technique that shows three-dimensional view of object on two-dimensional surface. It creates a sense of depth and space in drawings. Before we move on to different types of perspective, let's first discuss the interface of perspective in Infinite Painter. When you select any of the perspective, you see perspective mini toolbar and a setting option. Mini toolbar has perspective icon, a snap toggle and grid visibility. Snap and grid are same in setting option. This is lock function. This is control handle. You can reposition it anywhere on canvas. Once you are satisfied with its position, you can lock its position. And if you're not, you can reset original position. If the snap is turned on, when you start drawing freehand, your freehand strokes follow the direction of vanishing point. It will snap to the direction of perspective grid. If a snap is turned on, rectangle shape is snapped to the direction of perspective grid. You can change plane of rectangle shape, just return your stylus to a starting position and then start over in a new direction. You can resize, reposition shapes, you can edit shapes but within their original plane. Circle shape also snap to the direction of perspective grid. You can resize, reposition the circle shape within its original plane. Line shape does not snap to the direction of perspective grid. Even if the snap is on, it helps to draw shapes that don't follow the main perspective, like diagonal geometry. You can copy your shapes using this stamp function. Just draw your shape and then click on this stamp button. Your shape will be copied and then reposition it. Your shapes get resized and get smaller as they are close to vanishing point. For curvilinear perspective, don't use rectangle shape for drawings. Instead, use free hand stroke as this will create more curved view and it adds more perspective into drawings. In rectangular grid, for more convenience, use solid fill brush with a rectangle shape. This combo helps you in so many contexts. Otherwise, you can use any brush and free hand stroke for drawings. The main content of all perspective drawings is horizon line and vanishing point. So first you need to know these things. Horizon line is an imaginary line that separates ground and sky. Horizon line is always at the eye level of viewer. It appears to be the same height as viewer's eyes. Before you start drawing, you first need to place horizon line. You could place it in the middle of picture plane, it could be high or it could be low on picture plane. Why there are different positions of horizon line? Why is it important to place it correctly? As I said earlier, horizon line is always at the eye level of viewer. However, viewer can have different heights, so it is divided into mid horizon, high horizon and low horizon. Let's discuss these one by one. Mid horizon. Mid horizon is when you place your horizon line in the middle of picture plane. Here the ground and sky take up space equally. Low horizon. If a person lies down on a ground, height decreases so does the horizon line. And this changes the viewing angle of object being observed. High horizon. If a person stands on a high rise position, Height increases so does the horizon line. And this completely changes the viewing angle of object than previous one. If the object is in the middle of horizon line, you can see its top and bottom surfaces. If the object is above the horizon line, its bottom surface is visible. Similarly, if the object is below the horizon line, you can see its top surface. The more they are close to horizon line, the less their top and bottom surfaces are visible, and vice versa. Vanishing point. As indicated by name, it's a point where all objects seem to disappear. It's the point where all receding parallel lines seem to converge when seen in perspective. Vanishing point is located on horizon line. If there is a box, 
The side of boxes seem parallel to eyes, but if you extend these lines, you will see that they will converge at one point. The lines that move away from us like the side of boxes, the road on we are standing or railway lines, they all seem to converge at one point. These are called vanishing lines. Objects get smaller or become distant when they are close to vanishing point and this creates depth in drawings. Vanishing point is not bounded, you can place it anywhere on the horizon line. One point perspective has one vanishing point on the horizon line. It is used when the subject is viewed front on. Imagine you are standing on a street and you are looking straight ahead. If you notice, some interesting thing happens. The road disappears into the distance. The buildings and shops seem to shrink. They seem to converge at one point and then they fade into a distance. This phenomenon is known as one point perspective. In Infinite Painter, when you select one point perspective, you see vanishing lines and a control handle. This control handle is actually a vanishing point. You can place it anywhere on the canvas. When you start drawing, your strokes automatically follow the vanishing lines. They all seem to converge at a vanishing point. This is amazing. Surfaces facing you directly look undistorted, while the surfaces that move away from you look distorted. In one point perspective, when you draw cubes, whether above or below the horizon line, you see top and bottom surfaces along with front surface. And also top bottom front surfaces, you see either right or left surface at a time. Take this into an account. Let's have a look at sample video in which this tool is used. Two points perspective is a drawing technique in which two vanishing points are situated on a horizon line. It is used when something is seen from side. This time, the corner of object is facing the viewer. This time, left and right planes are visible both at the same time. Right plane converges to right vanishing point and left plane converges to left vanishing point. Objects get smaller as they recede into the distance. The closer the vanishing points are, the narrow and distorted view will be created. The farther the vanishing points are, the wider and more realistic view will be created. Let's have a look at sample video in which this tool is used. The three points perspective has three vanishing points, two on horizon line and one below or above horizon line. It's used when viewer is positioned above the subject and looks down at it, or when viewer is positioned below the subject and looks up at it. 
Subject is revealed this way when seen from a bird's eye view or subject is presented this way when seen from a worm's eye view. This time left, right, top or bottom planes are visible. Vanishing points are movable. You can reposition these according to your requirement. Different positions of vanishing points create different view angles. Closer the vanishing points are, more distorted view will be created and vice versa. Here are the results. Let's have a look at sample video in which this tool is used. Curvilinear perspective has five vanishing points, three situated on a horizon line and two above and below horizon line. All horizontal and vertical lines bend towards horizon line. It is used when someone is looking through fish eye lens. Now you see things curved rather than straight. The choice of lens actually makes scene appear more curved or less curved. So you can reposition your vanishing points according to the range of distortion you want to add into your drawings. Let's have a look at sample video in which this tool is used. Scroll perspective icon to left to reveal the isometric grid. Isometric grid is based on three directions X, Y and Z axis is spaced 120 degree. It's a drawing technique that shows 3D view of objects. It uses a particular grid to draw something with symmetry on three sides at the same time. It creates a nice uniform 3D view. It's used in architectural design, layout designs of games, logos, and in many other things. Let's have a look at sample video in which this tool is used. Rectangular grid is made up of intersecting horizontal and vertical lines. This is control handle. You can reposition control handle to adjust the size of squares or rectangles. It is often used to help achieve accurate proportions when drawing from a reference photo. Grids are essential in pixel art. 
It allows artists to create pixelated images, characters, design, and iconic artwork. Grids are used to create wide variety of interesting and complex patterns. Grids are used in page layouts. Using this, we can create appealing and well-organized arrangement of text and images. Let's have a look at sample video in which this tool is used. Thank you for watching, like, share and subscribe.